Hello, lovelies. Let's start crafting and make it till our eyes smile, I like to say. Joining me for Lini Shabby Tuesday is my friend, Catherine. A perfect place to start. Go check her channel out. I will leave the link to her video and her channel in my description box and tell her Miss Crafty Lini sent you. She does wonderful DIYs. You're sure to fall in love with her. Okay, we're gonna begin by using these stir sticks I got from Home Depot. My handsome devil did trim them for me to take that wavy handle off. And now I'm just gonna use four of these sticks. And I'm gonna glue them all together like a box, like a frame. I'm using my Gorilla Glue and I'm just making sure each corners are flushed. You can use wood glue with your hot glue if you like, and that will hold it uh, stronger, but I just used hot glue. Now I'm using my plaid folk art chalk paint in the color cottage, and I don't do a lot of coats. I just did a light coat. Uh, I wanted the wood to show through. I like that. and I. Don't forget, do the inside, the outsides, and you can do the back if you like. Now I got this puffy yarn. It was gifted to me from Catherine. Yep, a perfect place to start. Thank you, Catherine. And I thought, hmm, I'm going to use this. I love that it's so soft, and I love the little circle fringes on it. I just cut three strips from the yarn, and I wanted to use one with 12 hoops and two of them with 10 hoops. I want it two to be the same length and then one to be longer than the two. I do add some hot glue to the top and I'm just gonna glue each of those strips right to the top of my frame. So see how I have two of the same length on each side and the one in the middle is longer. And after we put these, glued those to the top, I'm gonna add some of this bling. I absolutely love these. They're from Totally Dazzled. Love Totally Dazzled. You hear me say it all the time. Gorgeous, gorgeous quality, beautiful and stunning. We're just gonna glue each of those brooches right there on top of those uh what we hung <laughs> i sometimes i don't know i don't get it i don't get myself sometimes <laughs> but you got it you see what i'm doing so now i'm going to get these christmas ornaments and i absolutely fell in love with these i've seen these at the Dollar Tree and I picked up the circle ornament, the star and the tree. And I'm just gonna put that one of those loops right through the top after I cut the string off. And then I just tie a knot. That's it, tie a knot. Don't even have to glue it. I do this to all three ornaments. I love the way they hang. You don't. You can stop at this process. You don't have to put all the material and everything I'm going to do because it looks so cute when they're all hanging. And see how two are the same size, same length and one's longer. So now what I'm going to be using is this Better Home. It's a material already pre-cut. You find this at Walmart. And I just cut enough to fit the back of my frame. And that's all I'm doing is gluing it tightly to the back. I am using my silicone makeup brush. I find these at the Dollar Tree. Like I always say, hey, save a nail. Don't burn that finger. Use your, <laughs> use your acrylic makeup brush because yeah, I burnt my finger a couple of times before. And this is fabric, so you must be careful because that glue, that heat goes right through. I end up trimming all the little strings off and there you have it. 
So now I'm using these Dollar Tree garland pieces. You find them in a pack. They usually have them there um, at the Dollar Tree or you can find them at Walmart. And I know Hobby Lobby carries these. And all I did was just get two of them, crisscross them and bend them up a little like a little mountain loop and glue them right there on the bottom of my frame. And I like to use just different greeneries. And what I do is I go and I look at my greenery stash that like I have leftovers when I make wreaths and projects and glue them right there to the center. And I build it kind of like a little upward swag on the bottom. I like to tuck all my, my floral underneath and I like to build them that way so you don't see all the glue and it looks more natural when everything is put together. I was going to add some poinsettias, but then I thought, hmm, this is shabby chic. We want it shabby beautiful. So I added some really beautiful blush flowers to the center. You could also add a bow or cute little ornaments like the round bubble ornaments would have looked so pretty. Bubble or bobble? Let me know. Am I saying that right? Bubble or bobble? I don't know, but you know what I'm saying. Ornaments to the center would look just as gorgeous. Now these beads I got from Walmart. I know Joann's carries them. I know that Hobby Lobby does and Michael's. And something similar you can find at Dollar Tree also. 
So I'm just gonna separate the beads a little and I'm just gonna take a few of the berries off. I just want about two on each side. The white berry clusters came from Dollar Tree and I just bought one bush of it and I just see how I cut just pieces that I want. I just added one on each side. You can make this as fluffy as you want, whatever greenery or you don't have to put it like this. You do what makes you happy. You make something, you make it to your eyes, smile, and your heart sing. I can't say that enough with you all. You hear me say it all the time. I added some little strips from that material. And then I got this, uh, it's kind of like a scraps netting from Halloween season. And I just cut those in little pieces. And I'm just going to make a cute little bow. A shabby bow. You can also use tool or different types of ribbon, lace, to make your bows on top. I glue them right there on the top of each ornament, and then I got my glue and glued each ornament to the fabric. You don't have to do this part. You can let it swing and sway, but I want it mine to stay put. I added some of these beautiful BB Craft ceramic beads and they're oh they're absolutely gorgeous with the little crystals on the outsides oh they're absolutely shimmer and beautiful i will leave all the links in my description box for you and i just put those right in the center of my bows oh i love it I'm not gonna show you me painting these little knobs. I got these knobs at Walmart. I painted them with ballet slipper, chalk paint, in like a soft pink. And I just dried, after they dried, I just glued them to each corner of my frame on the top. Then I'm just gonna get a little bit of that yarn and I just tie them each in a knot on each end. And then I got two of the loops on the bottom and put it right around those little knobs. And then after I did that, I cut it right there on the top in the middle center, and then I tied it in a double knot so I have a little bit hanging from the top. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed my shabby sheet Christmas beautiful frame picture. It's kind of a modern shabby chic feel, right?
give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe. I really love for you to be part of my Crafty Alini World family. And if you enjoy Shabby Chic, visit me every Tuesday for Alini Shabby Tuesdays. I post weekly videos. It was my pleasure crafting with you today. Hugs, kisses, and fairy dust wishes. Be kind, be kind to yourself and others. I'll see you in my next video.